So now in this video, we're going to take a quick look at voltage dividers. So this is going to be pretty simple, but it shows the uh, basic properties of a voltage divider. So if you take two equal value resistors and you put them across a power supply, that's an odd looking circuit probably if you haven't encountered it before, but what it does is it outputs half of the voltage since they're equal value resistors. Half of the resistance towards the positive side, half the resistance towards the negative side. Usually the load heads to ground though, so you gotta take that into account. And uh, you don't want any current to come out of it if at all possible, because otherwise you're getting closer to ground and it's gonna pull the voltage down. So you want to use it for amplifiers mostly that just look at the voltage and respond to it. And uh, in a few videos or so, I'm gonna grab the 555 timer and it has three equal value resistors within it that you can modify a little bit, but for the most part, one of those uh, voltages that it looks at is the two-thirds supply voltage, and then the other one is the one-third supply voltage, and that's how it does that. It doesn't matter what the voltage is, you'll get two-thirds or one-third. If it's nine volts, it makes the math easy. Two-thirds is six volts, and one-third is three volts. I also have over here the uh, basic uh, schematic that you'll often see with the formula involved. So you can punch in the numbers for R1 and R2 and then the voltage, the supply voltage that you're using and you'll see the voltage coming out. Again, it's for loads that just look at the voltage and uh, usually it's an input to an amplifier. So now we'll quickly take multimeter measurement. Since five volts is common, let's start with that one. All I have to do is set the meter to uh, volts. The red probe stays in the spot for this particular meter. Other meters, you might have to adjust it. So here you can see we have three resistors going from the uh, positive rail here to negative in series, and then we got two over here. So we'll zoom back. Again, five volt supply. We can go anywhere along the negative rail to uh, take our uh, ground measurement and our output there 2.5 so half of the power supply voltage and then this will be a third whatever it is 1.5 or something there we go 1.6 and then this is going to be a little bit above three right there so two-thirds of the supply voltage so math isn't extremely easy for the thirds for uh, the voltage divider so what we're going to do let's go up to 10 real quick you'll see that the current pretty much doubles this isn't completely accurate current is actually doubling but uh, that isn't completely accurate but in case 10 volts right there so our two resistors will have 5 volts across them so we doubled the supply voltage so our voltage dividers here since they're fixed will also double and uh, so there we got one third of 10 and then two thirds of 10 and of course, nine volts would give us three, and then six, and then uh, 4.5 right there. So that was enough demonstration though. I'm trying to keep these videos as short as possible. So I'm really gonna end this uh, right there. Of course, uh, I'm gonna pop up some other videos, but uh, while you're looking at those, always make sure you turn off the uh, multimeter. Definitely make sure it's not on current if it has a power button. Because if you think it's voltage, you turn the power on, and then you measure a power supply, the meter won't limit current and so if current isn't limited by the power supply you could damage the meter so in any case check out one of the other videos click like subscribe the bell all that stuff i will see you in the next video